Welcome to People to People. I'm Micah Mater. Let's get started with our first guest. Ernest Radcliffe has been giving back to Chicago youth for years, and it's gotten the attention of a pretty big fan. I just want all of you guys to know that we're proud of you, and uh, I'm going to be looking for you guys to do great things in the future. Everybody said Wolf Pack. <laughs> so here to tell you about that amazing afternoon is Coach Ernest Radcliffe of the Southside Wolfpack. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And as I told you a second ago, I'm no Barack Obama, but it's great to meet you, and I hope that uh, <laughs> I can give you a little bit of excitement being on People to People today. Tell us, first of all, how exciting that was. It was kind of a surprise. You talked to him by Zoom initially, and then he said he would come visit you, and you didn't really think he would, did you? No, I did not. I didn't think he was going to come that quick. Uh, I did have the opportunity to talk to the, uh, Mr. Bar Mr. President, Mr. <laughs> the President Barack Obama, and um, I had asked him, would, uh, you know, would he come out and do the coin toss at our homecoming game? And he said he would, you know, try to work it in, and uh, you know, and come by and do it. I even invited. Uh, Mrs. Michelle Obama as well, but he truly surprised us by coming in as quickly as possible, as quickly as he did. You must be pretty special, though, for the former president of the United States, the first African-American president, to come and visit you here in Chicago and talk to you and, and tell you how much he appreciates how much you've given back. I mean, it, it, it was it's a true honor. I am still in awe of the uh, the entire process. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just want to say that uh, it couldn't be done without all my coaches, my lovely wife, and all the parent support that we have um, to be able to coach for 24 years and uh, keep the program afloat. And uh, we are helping and saving so many lives and giving young people dreams to, uh, and uh, inspiring them to, you know, to be great. It's so, more than uh, just football, I, I, I'm isn't just it? truly honored. It's, yeah, and we're honored to talk to you. It's more than just sports. You're kind of a mentor to these kids, aren't you? Yes. Um, our football field and baseball field, we call our sanctuary. Uh, that's where we get a chance to do a lot of our, our body of work by mentoring our young people checking grades, making sure that they're, uh, that they stay out of trouble. And we also uh, encourage the parents to use us as a, a helping hand, as a father figure um, to some of our young people. A lot of them are from single parent homes. So we have to step in and uh, make sure that we are, uh, that we are there to help the family, <laughs> families as well. I, I know that you have one particular gentleman who went through your program. He's now a teacher, but he is a doctor who is teaching at the University of Chicago, right? Yes, his name is Dr. Abdullah Pratt. And that, um, that's pretty special. That should make you feel pretty special. It's fantastic uh, to see him in his white coat. And uh, unfortunately, with football, sometimes our players might get a little banged up. So they'll go to the hospital or he'll come over there and uh, he'll say a few words. He'll come over to the field and always give some encouraging words and tell all our young people where he started from. And that's just a true honor to see him, you know, working at that magnitude and uh, to go through high school, college and become a doctor. And you talked about the people who surround you. You have a lot of other coaches who are also in this program. And they, I'm sure, look up to you as well. Yeah, we are, we are, we've been together for so long. Uh, Coach Ronnell Morgan, uh, Coach Rastis Hill, Coach Josley Mayfield. We call him <laughs> Coach Nikki, Coach Will <laughs> Osira, and uh, Coach Van King. We even have one of our former players that's coaching. Uh, two of them, Darius Burst and Coach Chris, and uh, and my my wife Tanya Radcliffe. It's so important to have a <coughs> excuse me a great supporting cast. I've been coaching all week, so I'm a little hoarse. I know that's okay. I understand. I understand. You know, yeah. with the violence in our neighborhoods these days, we hear about it every day. We report on it every night. 
you are doing your part in trying to get these kids off the street and letting them know there's a lot more to life than that, isn't there? Yes. Uh, I am a firm believer that youth sports is the key vehicle to saving lives. Uh, we like to grab our young people at the ages of five and six. And once you do that, you're able to instill the certain uh, discipline and camaraderie and character in them. Uh, it is very important that uh, we continue to do that. Um, since we had the opportunity to speak with uh, President Obama, our numbers have drastic, I mean, have went up tremendously. Really? Uh, yes, we already had 140-some kids in our football program, and uh, our Lady Wolves Chilling program had 50. Mm. We already have a waiting list for every level of about 20 extra kids. He's, he's, a good, he's a good uh, publicity <laughs> person yeah. for you. Let me ask you this. There's been a lot of controversy on uh, Barack Obama's library coming to Jackson Park. You are right in Jackson Park. Yes. What do you say to those who are opposed to it coming? Well, it's great for the community. I know a lot of um, some people didn't want it, it to happen, but it is uh, very imperative that it does because <clears throat> it gives our young people hope to be able to see a, a, a facility that's going to be like that. So they're not just going to take the football field. They're actually building another football field and track at 63rd and Stony Island. So once that, that is completed, then they will start to uh, tear down the other football field. Okay. But that will create a lot of jobs uh, for, you know, the, for the community and also at the uh, uh, beautify the community as well. A lot of businesses will probably also come into the community. And, uh, you know, it'll be great for everybody. Coach, keep up the good work. Coach Ernest Radcliffe, we're going to let you rest your voice, get a little hot tea there, <laughs> and get ready for the next session with the kids. Thank you so much. Be safe. Be well. Thank you so kindly, and I appreciate you for having me. I am so humble and uh, I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to be on Channel 9 News. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is our honor. Thank you, sir.